Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This will be an entire house clean with me, so I hope you are ready to get some really great motivation. I'm very excited to announce that today's video is in collaboration with Bethany from Bethany's Southern Mess. You will love her channel, but let her introduce herself. Hey y'all, my name is Bethany and I'm a stay at home mama from Georgia. I actually have two channels, Bethany Southern Mess, where I post real mom life messes and Budget Bethany, which is my main channel. And I post all kinds of foodie content over there. So if you're interested in any of those kind of things, I hope that you'll consider coming over and subscribing to either one of those channels. On my Budget Bethany channel, you will find all kinds of foodie content. I cook what's for dinners, I have grocery hauls, and I post those every single week. On my Bethany Southern Mess channel, you will find real mom life messes. When I say that, I mean like messes that I clean up on a daily being a stay at home mama. Sometimes it gets really outrageous over here, so sometimes there's really outrageous messes. So if you're into big, gigantic messes, I hope you'll consider coming over and subscribing. Also, I am married and I have been married for 11 years, and we have three kids, and their ages are 11, 6, and 5. Over on my channel, I never take things real serious and I love making you laugh, so you're sure to catch a laugh over there. So if you're into spreading love and kindness, I hope that you'll spread some my way. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. The first thing I wanted to do was to clean up some of the bathroom drawers. We just tend to throw stuff in there, especially Romy stuff. We had so many toothbrushes and so much toothpaste collected in there and some of them were just used up and old and they had to be tossed and um, the bath oils, they spilled a little bit so I wanted to clean up everything a little bit and organize it better. Sometimes we keep stuff in drawers that we don't really need anymore. So I had two blow dryers and one of them actually is a little bit messed up. It cuts itself off after about 30 seconds or a minute. So I did get rid of it and uh, just discard it because why am I having this in my drawer every single day when I open it? If you hear my voice being a little bit strange, it's because I just had a cold or I'm just still going through the aftermath of it. Romy had this cold and thankfully it was not Corona, um, like a head cold and I don't know, I did a lot of speaking yesterday. I did a live workshop for my singing followers and people out there in the world and talked for an hour and a half and did a bunch of other stuff and my voice is just a little strained today so I'm trying to speak quite softly so that my voice will still last through this voiceover. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he started answers? What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance?
of the bathroom it didn't need a deep clean this time well maybe it needed it but I didn't really have a lot of time because I didn't want to do something in other spaces also and it was going to take me so much time and um, I think having clean sinks and faucets that already makes it look like it's nice and clean mopping is not the first priority of course in the bathroom the floor doesn't really get that dirty so vacuuming is so important to me because I have long hair, Romy has long hair, so there's always hair all over the floor, and that's something that starts looking really nasty after a while. So if you have long hair, it always is an issue that there's hair all over the place, especially in the bathroom where you brush your hair and comb your hair and blow dry your hair and hand lube your hair. There's just always hair everywhere. Now in the rest of our house, it's not so much my hair or Romy's hair, it's a lot more our dog's hair. And that is a real struggle right now because in the springtime he sheds so bad. Now for cleaning the toilet, I actually started using some different essential oils because I was going to kind of get tired of always having just the lavender oil scent, which is awesome. I still use the lavender because it is a disinfectant. It is antibacterial, antifungal, and um, it does smell good also. It's a natural product, no harsh chemicals. But um, I used Ilang Ilang and I, it smells so good. My mother had visited for a couple of days and I'm so happy that we had we have been spending more time together. We realized, especially during this lockdown time, she has had a lot of worries because of her shop. She has a shop. She's had it for almost 50 years. She's had to close it down for a really long time. And I felt the best thing I can do to help is just to kind of be together a lot. So we visited her several times. And I think because we spent so much time together, she kind of realized how important it is to have time together. So she has come more often than she used to um, to visit us, which I'm so happy about. We have this guest bed here, so practical. It's an Ikea, Hemnes, pull-out bed. And uh, that's where she sleeps. It's very comfortable. And uh, I think it's also cute because it's a day bed and it looks like a sofa. Romy had been sick for a few days, so um, she camped out in my bed. We actually tr switched beds because she is so restless. I cannot, I could not sleep beside her. I was right there with her, but after a couple nights, I thought like, okay. She was coughing and she was sniffing and, you know, I did everything I could. And she's turning nine this year, so she can do a lot and take care of herself. So I told her, you know, I gave you cough syrup, I gave you... I put on the diffuser right beside her um, with eucalyptus oil. Really did everything I could do on my end. And then I said, you know, if you need me, I'm always there at night. You can always call me if something's, you know, going on. 
and she she actually agreed it's like okay mom you sleep in my bed so you can actually sleep and I'll be okay I'll call you if something is going on but um you've done everything you have she's so sweet really I I know everyone mom may say that but I'm freaking proud of my daughter because she's I can see now that all you know all the effort you put into your kids if you really take the time when they're little and take the time to talk to them and to explain things and to not try to rush them it really does pay off because they will turn around and actually take care of you later that's just my experience so far and of course I'm not the absolute expert I only have one daughter but uh, I know those of you who have several kids I very much am I admire you and I I'm just proud of everyone who tries their best to raise kids who are going to be good people. Is my bucket for my compost it does get quite dirty and smelly so I'm glad it's made of stainless steel it's very easy to clean you can also put it in the dishwasher but it takes up so much space that I usually just clean it by hand
is clean. Five minutes, <laughs> half an hour, an hour. For me, if anyone's in the house, if kids or anyone else, usually about five minutes because it only takes a few minutes until someone says, Mom, I'm hungry, or like, I want to do something in the kitchen or I have to cut something up and kitchen it never stays clean but I think actually it's kind of fun for me cleaning the kitchen is kind of therapeutic because it's just one space and it's my space and it's kind of my area no one else is really allowed to decide how to do things in the kitchen that's my domain and I kind of enjoy that I love putting up my tablet sometimes and watching something on Netflix or so and even if I'm just listening to it and because in the kitchen I don't have to really go outside the room it's kind of fun just to tell everyone okay I'm cleaning the kitchen um, and then you can just listen to audiobooks or podcasts or watch something on Netflix is almost 100 years old and that window that you see right there our plan this year is actually to convert the window into a door and uh, build a balcony right in front of there so that we can actually go outside from the dining room that is the first floor it's not um, gr level floor it's not ground level but um, it will be able we will be able to go actually we, we're gonna make some stairs from the balcony so that we can go outside from the dining room go down the stairs and then go into our yard because right now what we have to do is just kind of walk through the house like go downstairs and walk through another room my work room and then go outside like that I'm very excited hopefully our the guy who's gonna do it for us who's gonna build the balcony he has been very sick he's had two surgeries on his heart so um, he's been wanting to come over for the past couple of weeks but then he always postponed and said well I'm gonna come tomorrow and then he said well I can still not make it they're gonna do another EKG so he's still dealing with health issues and I'm really really hoping that he's gonna be in a place to where he can actually fully work again soon so um, yeah and we have to get like um, a permit so we're in the process of planning all of that along with a bunch of other stuff that is coming up um, if you're interested in following the journey I uh, we have plans to grow our family and that I document on my channel simple blessings I'm gonna try to put the link below and uh, that's another thing that's going on right now We're in the middle of that and so yeah building the balcony and at the same time we're gonna build a carport because right now we have nothing to you know like no n no protection for our cars just standing in the open in the driveway which is not good I'm always afraid that because the car is quite new and whenever there's a hailstorm or something I always like I'm always thinking and praying to God like please let there not be any big hail because that'll be terrible for our nice car
since we don't own a dryer, um, we used to have one, but we got rid of it because, first of all, it takes up a lot of energy, second of all, it was not working properly anymore, and third of all, I don't know, we, because I'm quite minimalist, we don't, I mean, except for the kids' stuff, and we only have one daughter, so there's not that terribly much laundry, and at this point, I can totally handle it by just hanging it up and, you know, letting it air dry and then folding it up. I actually enjoy that time also because I usually take an audiobook or my iPad with me and I just listen to audiobooks or watch something and that's my uninterrupted time for about five or ten minutes. struggle with all the cables. This is my desk, this is my music producing uh, station, and I don't know, there's always like so much cable mess in there. I need a, I really want to try to actually fix this one time, but it's not top priority. There's always so much to be done, um, so I just keep putting stuff up and taking it down again.
Okay, I'm pretty tired now. This was a lot. There's so much more cleaning to be done and I do still have to declutter my quote unquote basement spaces because we don't really have a basement so I just have a couple of spaces where I just throw stuff in and I dread decluttering that. I really do want to tackle it this year. I highly recommend you going over to Bethany's channel and checking out her cleaning videos. Real messes, it's all real life. It's not Pinterest, but it's real actual life what happens. So you're gonna love it, I know. Thank you so much for watching today. You're the best. I appreciate you so much. And I hope I can always help you with some motivation to declutter and to simplify your life. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.